Hello again, don't forget to like and subscribe. Uh, today I'm going to be taking you through how to get a custom moss slider or any moss slider, how to carry the creator and into Unreal. Just because it's handy to have smiles and stuff on your characters, just to make life easy when you're doing the animations with your curves in the animations. First thing we need to do is load a CC3 base character. I've already done it, this is a CC3 base. And then we're just going to get right into it. Export it to OBG, new character in bind pose. And we really invented it and call it happy. That will create two files. Once we've done that, we're gonna create a happy pose, export it again. This time we're gonna do a character with current pose. I'm going to select the same file this time it only created that file but it's still linked to this one and take it back to its base pose create a more slider I'm really inventive again call it happy you can put your own paths in here current more pick the file that you created this one will get populated anyway, but just in case it doesn't, it is the file that I showed you that was attached. So now that that's done, we're going to have a look at our more sliders and search for happy. We have our happy slider. With it on 100%, we need to export that as an eye avatar. Here I'm just going to call it happy. So now we need to send it across to iClone. So let's just a bit more back to Evo. What we're doing, we can use the iClone send tool. Now that we're in iClone, we're going to go across to the Morph Creator. In the Morph Creator, we're going to load in the Happy Avatar that we exported. Find the one that does what you want it to do, or there's multiple ones, but I know these don't actually do anything. So I'm just going to get rid of them. So now I'm going to update Morph and send and replace the iClone. Back in iClone, I'm going to send this character back to Character Creator. Now this character has the happy actually embedded in it. The teeth don't move with a smile, but we'll talk about that in a moment. So now we're going to export this in the normal way to send it to Unreal. So Unreal, Custom, Bind Pose. I'm going to call it Test Mode. Over in Unreal, we're going to import that mesh in just to make sure that it's working. Well, to show you that it's working really, because I know it works. That's just the speed. Okay, so now that we're back in the uh, Unreal Engine, just um, open this up. Look at all the more. And as we can see, works fine, but the teeth don't move. So we're going to have a look at that next. So now back to Blender. And in Blender we want to import the mesh. Standard stuff really. We're going to need to join the body, the teeth and the tongue. So what we do. Pop uh, into edit mode. Oops, sorry. 
Why not moth though? Probably a little more select teeth. Cursor to select it. And 3D cursor is the point, rotate along the X, click take down, back to object mode, and there we go, the teeth are moving with the mouth. It's worth noting as well that blend shapes are actually really easy to make in Blender. It goes with the name really. All you do is you press plus, that gives you a new blend space. At the moment it's on value of zero, so we would go up to say one. Um, maybe proportional editing, make life simple, uh, select the middle, use the mouse wheel to show how much we want to affect it, probably still have something selected up there, right, now we can and we can use a mouse wheel to show how much we want to affect. You probably want to transfer it over to the pants as well. Just a quick demo. And then you can have the belly more, and then obviously the name it. Job's done. Then you would export this back to Unreal, uh, and you're done. Okay, Blender crashed out there, um, very rare crashes to be fair. So I'll just quickly remake the, uh, the morph. Doesn't have to be anything great as we only use it for demonstrations. That will do. I think while I'm, while I'm going to do the chest as well, because there was something else I would like to show you. Like I say, I'm not doing it perfect because these are not going to be used. Quickly make some. Right, but the problem is now that we have that, that the clothing doesn't go with it. Now, there is an easy way to do this. So, all you're going to do is transfer the um, shape key onto the clothing. The easiest way to do this is with an add-on. Now just in case you don't know how to add it, install an add-on to Blender. Just go to preferences, go to install, pick your path that the installs in. Now I should actually go to it. You shouldn't need to type it, it was because because once you install it you don't need to type it, it automatically goes there but because I already had it, it needed just to type it. You need to tick the box to make sure it's active. Remember you do not unzip a blender add-on, you install and zipped. Once that's done, you don't need these. Uh, mesh data. Get your source mesh. Find this again. It didn't transfer to the two. I wasn't sure if it would or not. I've never tried to do it twice before. And now, as you can see, you can make the clothes and morph with the actual mesh as you need to you can do the same thing in character creator in the same way as we made the mesh morph in character creator you can also make the arm and morph the same in character creator don't know why i'm stepping back with this not like i'm going to be using it 
Hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you find the use of morph targets and or blend shapes, whichever you prefer to call them, useful uh, in Unreal. I find them useful to use on things like AI, make them slightly different on each one that spawns instead of just looking like a bunch of clones. And I like to use them on the facial expressions just to have them you know, changing the facial expressions as they walk around to stop them looking so mannequin-like. See you next time.